episode, we're going to talk about you home buyers out there who are ready to buy a home, but then found out your credit score is not as ready as you are. <laughs> into the valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're going to be talking to you home buyers out there who are ready to buy a home but discovered your credit score is not as ready as you are. Help! What can you do? So we have a special treat here for you and we have Pamela Du with Movement Mortgage, Mortgage Advisor, who is an expert in credit and helping people get loans to buy homes. I mean, she's in, been in this industry for as long as I've been alive. And I know that because she's my mama. <laughs> she's been in this industry for nearly 40 years. And I just told you how old I was. Oh, it's all right. We're going to keep going. <laughs> so she's been in this industry helping people for, as I just said, nearly 40 years. So this is a special treat. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah. Hello everyone. <laughs> we wanted to talk to you today about credit scores because credit is so important when it comes to financing. Credit score ranges anywhere from 350 low to an 850 high. Obviously the higher range is gonna be the, the focal point we wanna get you to. Credit scores are determined based upon your credit usage. How often do you make your payments on time? Do you skip payments? Are you late on payments? Making your payment on time is 35% of the tally for the vote of the scoring. After how long you've made the payment on time is what type of credit do you have? Do you have credit cards from department stores, Macy's, Capital One? Do you have any type of installment debt? The more likely you have of different types of credit, the better your credit score is going to increase for you. And the credit type is 30% of the credit scoring. After that is the length of time you've owned the credit. The credit you've owned is one month old, six months old, 15 years old. The longer you have credit established, the easier it is going to be for your credit score to go up if your payments are on time. Credit inquiries are another item that the credit bureaus are looking at when they score you. Have you had your credit ran by many different department stores? Are you taking advantage of those 10% discount at department stores? Shouldn't do that because it lowers your credit score. However, if you're shopping for a home loan, you want to do those credit inquiries within a 30 day window. So that only counts as one credit inquiry. Inquiries are 10% of the makeup. And then loan to balance. Based upon how much you owe on a credit card versus how much you use on the credit card is another 15% of the calculation. So using the credit card to 30% or less is going to be the better spot for you on the credit card usage. <laughs> that was really cool. Thank you for sharing that because we do have some people out there watching this that don't really understand credit scores and that was a really cool, you know, and easy to understand explanation. So. This episode was for people that their credit score is not ready to buy homes yet. So if they have their credit score ran and they discover that it's too low, what can they do to help improve it? Oh, I'd love to help people improve their credit. Credit can be improved in several different ways and there's no one right answer. Everyone's credit usage is different. So maybe you haven't used your credit cards in a long time. So we have to use them a little bit to show that we have confidence in ourselves and what we're able to pay. Maybe they, there's a need to pay down certain credit cards in order to use that percentile of how much you use versus the balance allowed. If we have to pay off judgments, liens, those things need to be taken care of probably six months prior to getting into homeownership uh, search activity because it's going to take about that long for the scoring to come back up. So no one right answer, but we can always find a way to make it better. That was some really good information for people. You know what? she helps people all the time do this. So some of the people out there that are watching this episode with us, they're not thinking about buying a home right now. In fact, they're not planning on applying for a loan. So does their credit score still matter to them? Oh my gosh, yes. Not everyone is ready to buy a home or even wants to, but if you're a renter, if you have a cell phone, if 
you have car insurance, if maybe you're shopping for a new job, all of those different entities are gonna pull your credit report. And when they pull your credit report and they happen to see low credit scores or judgments or liens or things of that sort, they're gonna look at the credit scoring differently for you in that opportunity of giving you that car insurance or that cell phone at the discounted rate or a lower rate. So you definitely want to check your credit score quite often. And quite often to me is about once every six months to see what's on there. Cool. So if someone's not ready to talk to someone like you or someone like me, you know, the money lady or the house lady, um, and they're just curious and they want to check every six months, is there a way they can do that with, without connecting to us and asking sure. us to run it? Absolutely. You can go online to www annualcreditreport.com and you can run a credit report for yourself. It would be a soft hit on your credit report so it's not going to give your score a ding. What it will do is give you the information on your credit report, not necessarily a credit score. As far as the free one, you can pay to get the credit scoring if you want to see what the numbers are. Many people today have um, credit cards in their banks who offer to give them some kind of credit score update. Those are good and it gives you an average, but they wouldn't be the same type of scoring as we use in a mortgage industry. I'm always open to talk to anyone about credit scoring and would love to help improve your credit score. This was all really, really good information. I hope you were taking notes. If not, rewatch this. Thank you so much for being here. And what we learned today from uh, Pamela Du, aka mom, <laughs> is our credit score is really, really important. Even if you're not planning on buying a home or thinking about it at this point in your life, there are still things that you need a good credit score for, whether it's your, your car, your work, what, renting, or you never know, you could be on that date sitting across a table from that maybe special someone and they could be like, so what's your credit score? Okay, that's probably not going to happen, but still, your credit score is really, really important uh, to, to you and what you want to do in the future. So if you want to know what it is, she gave you the link that you can go check out your credit score, but if you also want some coaching on how to improve it because you want to buy a home, give mama a call here. What number can they reach you at? 209-814-3135. <laughs> And she has helped many people get ready even months, even longer than that to get their credit scores up and ready to buy a home. So give her a call. You can always give me a call if you want to ask questions. Remember, she's the money lady and I'm the house lady. So as always, please subscribe to our channel here because every Friday I've got a new video out for you. <laughs> okay. Get that rental. We're gonna have to start over. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How do I look? Gorgeous, Tyler. <laughs> Thanks, Mama.